Hi, William Hoen here for new villagers and heroes poll discussion. So, uh, this time it's all about even zones. Let's see what V asked about that. All about even zones. What are your favorite even zones ranked from most to least? Uh, and why? Which even zones have your favorite cosmetics? Do you participate in each even zone every year? Why or why not? What, re what rewards do you tend to go for in an event zone? What content is your favorite and least favorite in event zones? How long until you feel bored or burned out on an event zone? Do, we, do you enjoy RNG no rewards in event zones? Why or why not? Should an event zone have new content every year? If so, what? So let's see what the community has to say about that. First we have Birdwing saying Oasis, Halloween, Veil, Christmas. Um, where is Sugar Sweet? Where is it? The wings in Oasis are definitely my favorite. Unfortunately, I have school and work most of the year, so I can't participate in VNH for a lot of the time. High five, Birdwing. I uh, uh, understand you. I don't have school, but I do have working kids. I pretty much only get cosmetics. The drops and buffs are useful, but I don't usually use them. Uh, most uh, five. What was the question at? F uh, uh, what content is your favorite and least favorite? So, most favorite, long grindy quest. Least favorite, dailies. Uh, depend on, depends on the zone, usually once I've done all the bounties, about 10 or 20 times. Um, 7 it was... Do you enjoy RNG? Yes, they're sometimes worthwhile. 8. Uh, the question 8 wa would, uh, was, should an even zone have new content every year? I would greatly appreciate some yearly changes, even if it's just different colors for the cosmetics or slightly different quests, or maybe a special boss or two. Why not three? Next we have Greyfire. What are your favorite even zones ranked from most to least and why? Christmas is my favorite as it was my first even zone. I like the daily where you need to help others to complete a quest. This mechanic builds community. Indeed, uh, I've met a lot of people during Oasis actually. The first time I participated in Oasis is when I got to befriend Derry. Uh, so, and we are still friends. To this day, four, five years later, doing a podcast and stuff. Always this is my least favorite. The zone is very big and seems to take a long time to complete uh, a round. Yeah, uh, indeed. They did add some teleporters, I think. I didn't participate in the in the latest uh, Oasis. Which even zones have your favorite cosmetics? Cosmetics are not important to me. Really? In an MMO? Huh. I mean, more power to you and, like, it's literally more power to you. Do you participate in each even zone every year? Why or why not? Mostly, it depends on what is happening in real life. What rewards do you tend to go for in an even zone? When possible, I like the gearboxes for 95, necklace slash ring. It would be nice if other even zones offered gear. Uh, it would be nice if even zone consumables stayed in game longer. Then there would be more incentive to get them. Indeed, uh, I agree with that. Um, then they continue. What content is your favorite and least favorite in even zones? Least favorite are even zones that don't build a community or take a long time to complete a round. How long until you feel bored or burned out on an even zone? Two, three weeks. Do you enjoy RNG rewards in even zones? Why, why not? I like the idea of random boss drops. 
but would prefer a small change. For every time you complete the even zone boss, slightly increase the drop rate for the individual. That way, you better reward those who are at every boss event but are unlucky and come away empty ended. Should an event zone have new content every year? If so, what? I would, pre I would prefer that the devs spend more time improving other aspects of the game. New endgame content with level cap raise or other content. Yeah, like uh, finishing the Black Thrush storyline. Just an example, or uh, finishing the housing update. You know, stuff like that. Now we have Tigory saying, Christmas, because it's Christmas. And the zone is small enough to get around easily. Halloween, the zone is small enough to get around easily, and the skeletons are fun. Veil, vale. it's beautiful and I love to fly off the peaks. The ladder here is also fun. Sugar sweet. I don't like it. Boo! It's just too pink. No. And it's a large zone, so takes too long to get anywhere. I will give you that one. Oasis. Barren and uncolorful and large zone. The addition of teleporters was helpful, but it's still difficult to get around. Cosmetics. You mean how the zone is designed, colored, etc. or the outfits? I would guess the outfits. Participation. Yes to Christmas, Halloween and Veil. Vale. No to Sugar Sweet and Oasis. Well, I mean, it's fine. We, we, we shouldn't be... We'd, we shouldn't be... Let, let me try that again. We shouldn't feel forced to participate in content we don't like. Uh, games are for fun and we should engage with what we think is fun. Rewards. XP for alt, mounts for all, assuming there's one I like and don't have. Content. See my first answer. Fair enough. Burnout. Usually about two weeks before it leaves. RNG. I have no idea what this is. What that is. Yearly content. If feasible, I think new outfits and mounts would be great. Otherwise, no. I just thought of the uh, Bugs Bunny meme, like the no. I'll put that on screen. And now we have Ziyani saying, abandoned the even zones. For players who do not have the ability to play daily, they are impossible to complete. Yeah, probably I would tend to agree with that, even though we could try and, you know, get a definition for complete uh, the even zone but yeah if you want the, the best rewards and can't play daily uh, yeah forget that now we have Ikimi saying what are your favorite even zones ranked from most to least and why Halloween Vale Grinchta Sugar Sweet Oasis Halloween is neat small even zone not screaming colors and it is easy to keep oversight Veil vale is also fairly overseeable. The quest and straight line, the quest probably are straight line and easy to follow. Grinchta is a bigger zone, but still a clear path in the sense of elder roots. The quests are a lot more elaborate, and I tend to skip the toy quests because they are messy. I can't even fit all the these in my taskbar. Sugar Sweet screams in your face and you'll see pink for weeks. The bosses are all over the place, there is no clear line, people don't know where to go and it is a confusing mess. I am a confusing mess. Everyone yells boss spawns and you miss out on half the bosses. Oasis is, is a huge zone with annoying cliffs you can't get past unless you go way around. It's bosses and some quests are all over the place and their spawn timers are way off. Or used to be, not sure how it was this year. If you're not on top of it, you'll miss out on boss Calif kills. Um, she continues with Which even zones have your favorite cosmetics? Varies per zone each year. Some years, some zones have great outfits or mounts. Other years, not so much. Do you participate in each even zone every year? Why or why not? 
I used two, but it became quite overwhelming and I started to get burned out by them, having to be there every free second to make sure I got enough currency to get what I want. So I didn't do even zones for the past year, but depending on the rewards for Halloween and their prices, I might give that one a try this year. This is pretty much exactly how I feel about even zones uh, right now. We have to understand, as people who've been playing for a few years, that new players can feel quite differently because it's new for them. But yeah, anyway, this is this is very much how I feel. What rewards do you tend to go for in an even zone? Outfits and mounts, if they are pretty. I don't grind for toys. I never use toys, so it is a useless reward to me. And they take some space in your inventory. Well, less now with the uh, the toy box, but still. Uh, what content is your favorite and least favorite in even zones? I like things like pumpkin head. Just go every once in a while, get some shots in, get a little reward. You still have a tiny, sh you still have a tiny chance to get something without having to invest weeks of your time. And it is a group ex exercise. Okay, man, I can't can't speak. It's Friday evening. Uh, we got some uh, pretty good food with some pretty good drinks. Anyway, how long until you feel bored or burned out on an even zone? Varies, but usually after two weeks, I start to feel the meh. I hope I'm done soon. Uh, yeah, this is me every work day. Do you enjoy RNG rewards in even zones? Why or why not? Varies in which form. I liked the chant for a pumpkin head Mustang. I did not like the four pieces of an outfit, since you'll never complete the actual outfit. You'll be stuck with a partial outfit. I don't do partial. I wouldn't mind RNG as much if there was a guaranteed component. For example, guarantee X currency, but with an an RNG chance for X extra. Should an even zone have new content every year, if so what? No, there is quite a lot to do already. I think the recent overhauls of even zones should do for a while. As long as there are a few new rewards, it would be fine to me. If new content were to be added every year, old content must be deleted to keep oversight on what to do. Thank you very much for your comment, Takimi. We, I think we are on the same wavelength of our, of how we feel about all of this. Now we have Fred Shiver Stan Shiver. We have Fred Veil vale, 100. Nothing else matters. I think it's because that was my first event years ago, and I really enjoyed the whole character development it required. I do like other events, to be fair, just not as much. Um, one of the reasons I think I like Sugar Sweet as much as I do is that it was my first even zone. Uh, I think the first even zone we, we do will still remain special in some way. Um, now we have Haley saying, What are your favorite even zones rank from most to least and why? Oasis, Halloween, Christmas, Veil, Sugar. I don't know, just like the layout and fighting better in Oasis. I've never cared for Sugar. I do like Sugar. My doctor said I, I shouldn't. Which even zones have your favorite cosmetics? Halloween to me has the best. Oddly enough, not a fan of the Oasis mounts or outfits. Do you participate in each even zone every year? Why or why not? No, haven't in a long time. It's too repetitive in a short amount of time, plus I'm never able to participate enough to get a mount. It's something that came back a few times. I, I, I think the, the currency and prices of stuff needs some, some adjustment, some balancing. What rewards do you tend to go for in an even zone? Outfits, just because I know with the amount of time I can participate, that's about all I can buy. But you, you, you can buy me love, as, as they say. 
What content is your favorite and least favorite in Even Zone? Oasis Ladder is probably my favorite, with Sugar Ladder being a close second. I've never participated in the Christmas one, so least favorite, lol. How long until you feel bored or burned out on an even zone? A week, give or take. Do you enjoy RNG rewards in even zones? Why or why not? It's a nice idea, I have no problem with it. Should an even zone have new content every year? If so, what? Yeah, yes and no, maybe change up the bounties a bit or a quest here and there. Other than that, no. Now we have Fergus saying, what are your favorite event zones ranked from most to least and why? I sorta like Haunted Moors because Halloween is my favorite holiday and it's not annoying to move around in. Spent a little time in Grinchta but realized I was never going to complete anything and never went back. I loathe Sugar Sweet for the visuals that makes my eyes bleed. Have you have you gone back since the, the latest update? I think they, they did a fantastic job in making it kind of less pink, at least less um aggressive pink. Uh, I think it's it's pretty nice. Apparently I've wiped Veil from my mind as I can't recall anything about it. Well it's the green place. Tried Oasis on the first day and wrote it off after dying to the first bounty I came across. Which even zones have your favorite cosmetics? I don't care about cosmetics enough to devote more than a few hours to them, so I don't do them. Do you participate in each event zone every year? Why or why not? Nope. Nothing in them is worth the time investment and I've still got years of collecting medallions to be done instead. <laughs> uh, what rewards do you tend to go for in an even zone? I don't. What content is your favorite and least favorite in even zones? I hate that there are all these even zone specific materials that I ha that have to be gathered, which takes up huge amount of pack vault space. If the items that have to be collected could go into some location just for even quest items, I would do the crafting quest in the even zones. That's a pretty nice idea to have a separate bag just for even zone stuff that would activate when the even zone drop. That, that, that's a pretty good idea actually. How long until you feel bored or burned out on an even zone? One or two days. Yeah. Do you enjoy RNG rewards in even zones? Why or why not? What are those random drops from foes or something? Should an even zone have new content every year? So what? Please don't spend any more development time on them when there is so much else in the game that needs to be worked on. I would agree with that uh, sentiment. I'll repeat what I have said before. I loved the holiday events in City of Heroes Villains, Neverwinter Nights, Asheron's Call, and even WoW. Would spend many hours doing even quests and crafting. I wish that the VNH events were half as much fun. So um Fergus is not the uh, not a big fan of even zones. Now the last, but not the least, Lilith Alexander. What are your favorite even zones ranked from most to least and why? Halloween, Oasis, Grinchta, Twilight and Sugar Sweet. Sugar Sweet was an eyesore, Twilight was grind, and the other three are pretty equally first. Each has something that pushes it favorably and something that negatively impacts my opinion. I would be curious to know exactly what it is. Which even zones have your favorite cosmetics? Twilight and Halloween followed by Oasis. Love that mysterious vibe, outfit pieces that appear to change your character's biology, antlers, wings, hooves, etc. I have no idea what hooves are. But uh, I kinda suck with uh, that English language that is used here. And Dark Cutters. Do you participate in each even zone every year? Why or why not? This is my 
Uh, this is only my second time around the event cycle, but I think the event needs something desired for me to play it. I wouldn't play an event with nothing I want to purchase. What rewards do you tend to go for in an event zone? Typically toys, outfits and flares, usually in that order too, unless there's a really good mount or a super nice flare. What content is your favorite and least favorite in event zones? I love doing dailies and ladders, but hate crafting quests and boss runs so much. They're very tedious and boss runs are hard to complete within time limitations. How long until you feel bored or burnt out on an even zone? Depends on the zone content, if there are long tedious quests, a few days. If it's rather chill like Oasis, then a few weeks. Do you enjoy RNG rewards in even zone? Why, why not? They seem fun, but I also kinda hate them. I like to collect all the things, but RNG hates me, so I never win. The thrill is fun, but I don't know. Also, the always a sting of one piece of an outfit is very frustrating and I don't like that. Should an even zone have new content every year, if so what? Assuming you mean... Assuming... Man, that's hard. Assuming you mean non-shop content? Not really. I like knowing what I'm up against, so having the even zone remain the same is nice to me. Small additions would be okay like a quest or something, or like the treasure chest of Oasis, but nothing huge. And with that we are done about the All About Even Zones poll discussion. If you are not on Discord yet and want to join, the link is in the description below. I also have my own Discord where you can come and talk about games and... It's uh, the place where I post all of my videos. So anyway, thanks a lot for watching and have a great rest of your day slash night slash evening and stuff. Bye bye.